Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Final Fantasy 16 and the recent news on whether or not it's exclusive. Technically, we have multiple exclusivity deals done here with PlayStation with limited time releases for this game regarding PC and Xbox. And we currently still don't have any news on whether or not this is going to be releasing for what we, I guess, could call current gen or last gen whenever the PS5 and the Xbox Series X comes out. So let's just get down into the nitty gritty exactly of what is happening with this game and exclusivity and some news regarding Final Fantasy VII Remix exclusivity. So the plan is and what they are doing here, and this is from some industry people talking about this, is that Final Fantasy 16 will arrive six months after the PS5 release. And then on Xbox Series X and the Series S, the one that's not as strong, will release a year later. So you have half a year wait to get the game on PC, and then you have a full year wait if you're trying to get this game on the two Xbox consoles and the next gen Xbox consoles. So you still have that bit of a wait to go, and we are still currently in the wait for the Final Fantasy VII Remake to go live up on PC as well, and for Xbox also. We do not currently have the game set to be able to release um, on those things as well. It's still stuck on just being a PS4 exclusive. So at least we know that they are just timed exclusives. These are not going to be exclusives that are going to be completely stuck on PlayStation forever. You know, PlayStation originally had some exclusivity stuff in the past, and then they eventually caught out of that. Same thing with Kingdom Hearts. They had a lot of exclusivity stuff with Kingdom Hearts, and Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, and they were able to bring that to Xbox finally. Xbox players could finally play this. Now, I'm a person who really just plays PC, PS4, and Switch, so I really don't have an Xbox, but I do know what it's like. I'd rather have certain games on PC, especially if I want to run them better, especially if I know for sure that my PC is able to handle it. It's a little bit easier just to talk to my friends on Discord instead of using a PlayStation party and whatnot. And the PS4 is just kind of slow, and it's definitely becoming very dated compared to like a modern day PC. It's so easy to tell that from now. So here's what we can kind of do if you are debating on whether or not you're going to be getting a PS5 for this game. I know this game's kind of up and down on whether or not it's good or not, but what you can do is sort of give yourself a little bit of a window here. You know for sure it's going to be releasing on PS5 right away, but if you are a person who wants to get an Xbox Series X or Series S instead of getting the PS5, maybe you want to get the Series S because you know it's going to be a little bit cheaper, you can still wait that whole year but that's sort of up to you. If you do have a PC that you think is going to be strong enough, you could just play it six months after the PS5 release. If you're okay with that six month wait, I know me personally, I'm not getting a PS5 just to jump on this. I'll gladly bite the bullet for the six month wait. I'd rather not have to buy a whole console just for the one game. I know Demon Souls is another game. So right now, I'm not 100% sold on the you know initial release stuff for the PS5 yet. Yes, there are a good handful of games I'd really, really like to have, but, you know, how long will it take before we actually get all of those games to release? So it might be a little bit of time. The PS5 will possibly be marked down by next year as well, so I'm willing to wait that long before I end up having to jump on the PS5. But this is a short little video I just wanted to make here for all of the Final Fantasy fans out there because I thought this was something interesting and something you might want to think about regarding whenever you're going to be buying a PS5 or if you're going to be getting an Xbox or if you want to play the Final Fantasy VII Remake on PC or Final Fantasy XVI on PC as well. We still have to wait for the Final Fantasy VII Remake to come to PC and we are going to have to wait even longer now, six months past the release of it coming out on the PS5 for Final Fantasy XVI. So you can sort of judge that where you want, guys. This has been your host, Rising Oblivion. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.